Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us right there on the program. Let's continue the conversation now. Um, you know what is happening in Adamawa State uh, in respect of the governorship election there? Uh, it is uh, the, the poll is hanging because it's not concluded. Annika said that election has been declared inconclusive. And now joining me, uh, perhaps you watch on the sister program on uh, to, uh, today's uh, on China Television earlier. The governor of Adama State and the PDP candidate, Amado Fintiri. I'm now being joined by the APC uh, governorship candidate in Adama State, Ms. Aishatu uh, Ahmed, popularly called Aishatu Binani. Thank you so much indeed for coming tonight. You want to use the pen? Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. So, uh, I mean, if you did not watch what uh, the, the governor said earlier, and the PDP candidate, what is your own position? Uh, on the inconclusiveness of that election. Well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, good evening. And um, my position is that uh, the INEC uh, uh, REC did very well by saying it's an uh, inconclusive, uh, declaring the result inconclusive. And uh, my reasons are simple. The election, whoever sees or monitored the election of Adama states knows that the election was marred with violence, rigging, overvoting, and all, uh, all sorts of manners of irregularities. So the, the figures that were, that, were, that were deposed was really, to me, as far as I'm concerned, they were concocted figures. Because um, some of the ballots, some of the, if, you, if, if one should really dig out, you'll find out that some of the beavers, I believe, if the beavers accredited only 10 people, you'll see that you'll find out that the, uh, over 30 people must have voted. So that is part of irregularities. So the only way to, 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 for, for the wreck to come out clean is to declare that result inconclusive because the, 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 the commission, the commission have the powers that within seven days to, to look at it, to review the to, to review the declaration and and return where the where to, to review the declaration where the commission feels that the declaration was not made in or the declaration was made under duress or where it is not made in compliance with the laws and regulations you understand the reason why INEC declared it inconclusive because of the votes in th that area and the margin of vote between you and uh, the PDP candidate uh, yeah. But you know the position of uh, the PDP candidate. He says the REC was misled, and in fact, it le the REC is uh, inexperienced. But you had said that the REC did very well. Yes, the REC did very well. He will say that the REC was uh, was uh, was misled because he wanted to be declared at all cost after rigging the election. Because what do you mean by it, rigging? How? Because it was a known fact, like in one of the local government. He was practically saying, let, uh, let his, uh, his cabinet to go to that location, to go to that local government and force the, election, uh, the, uh, the returning officers, the EO and what have you, to, de to, to come up with a concocted result and declare that result I mean, you, you under have, duress. You have evidence of, uh, of Yes, the, 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 the returning officers are there. In fact, they were held hostage. They were held hostage to do that, and they had to run for their dear life. They were stay. They, they had to run to a near, nearby police uh, police station, and they were there throughout the night. So, with with, with that me. kind of with that kind of uh, violence, how can you? How can any wreck? How can any sensible wreck declare the result? De declare you winner? And not only that, in another local government called Song local government about the, the, his commissioner his, com, his his cabinet commissioner and the local government chairman 
in, in collaboration with some of the security uh, personnel, they had to beat up the returning, of, is it the returning officer or the collection officer, as I speak to you now, the guy is in the hospital. And they did what they wanted, they did all they, they, they desired to do. So the election virtually, that is just two local government. If you take Mitsika Madagali, if you look at the return of the votes this time around, it has never happened. So, madam, I mean, if the election was declared inconclusive, it means that there will be a supplementary election. Yes. The governor says, I mean, and with the figures that have been released, he says he's way ahead of you, yes. and the margin is wide. Yeah. What do you think could happen if there, there was a supplementary election? I am saying that supplementary election, that was why I came back to Abuja. We now, I, my lawyer wrote to INEC on the 22nd of this month because the election was declared on the 20th. And you have, INEC have seven days to make, to, to review, if at all the review is sought for by, by, by the candidate. So I wrote in a letter, my, 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 legal, or my legal personnel put in a request that we need a review of about 16 local governments. So you don't want to go to the field? You no, don't want to go we, back to the election? Until after the review is done. So you until want after the, the review the, is carried of out. how many local governments? 16, because I am sure of no doubt once this review is carried out, it will, they will come out with those concocted figures by the governor and his, uh, and his, uh, and his alliance that make up that 400 and something. I believe they are concocted figures. And these figures, after the re review, it will certainly so you don't, it will it, certainly come down. You don't so think that the election the, was free and fair? It wasn't. No, he came up with all manners of. Rigging. What about the figures you got? You don't think that those figures were correct? Those figures. The ones you got. Let me tell you what happened. In some of the areas, a house of repres a, a constituency member house of uh, assembly result was declared for the governor. That was what was uploaded for the governor. In so many insta in, uh, instances, have and you in so, in this, some of these instances to INEC. Yes, yes. We even have videos to show that. If and you, in some of these, uh, and in some in, in some locations, like in uh, some part of the location, you see that the beavers were even uh, bypassed. So that you mean it, beavers was not used yes, in some? Yes, yes. In, in many, which, which in, areas are these? Most of the areas, most of the uh, local government, like in Mitika, in, Mada in Mitika, Madagali, Hong, so many, we but have you, listed. But you realize that, we have according to areas. the guidelines of INEC, no, beaver, no election can be conducted without the use of the beavers. Yes, the beavers were there, but they, it was bypassed. But do in you have fact, evidence like of that? In, yes. We have, we have the, the, uh, the, uh, our agents were there. In fact, some of the locations, no, the, the INEC, uh, INEC ad hoc staff were not even there because yeah. the violence yeah. to which the governor has masterminded and wanted to unle unleash people on, so people had to run for so their life. So let me ask life. you, madam, should you go to the field for a, I mean, a supplementary election? Are you afraid of that, of, of going against the governor in a supplementary election? I'm never afraid, but all I'm asking is that let, the, let INEC, let INEC, let an independent National Electoral Commission please and please conduct a review on this said local government so that it will bring out the real figures for all the candidates. That's just all that I'm asking. And as soon as that is done, we, can, we, are, we will be home and dry and then we will be confident to go back to the field. That's it, just I'm asking. You are running, you want to be governor. You realize that if you have your way and you become governor, you will be the very first woman to ever become governor in this country. You realize? Inshallah. How does that make you feel? Uh, great and uh, uh, great and happy because I'm, I'm not doing this for Bina, I'm not doing this for myself, I'm doing it for every girl child in this country. All right. It's for all the women in Nigeria. I pray that and I wish that the best person wins for your state and the interest of your state and that of the country. Thank you so much, Ms. Aisha to Binani. Do try to come back whatever happens in that election. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.